What is going on, guys? So I want to tell you about the evolution of the most stolen logo in the pressure washing industry. And unfortunately, that is my logo right there, and it is stolen all of the time, but it is what it is. You got to kind of live with it. I've kind of become numb to it, but I do get emails and text messages all the time from guys all over the country that see my logo being used. They send me pictures. Typically, it's on a sign on a truck, something like that. So I will give the guy a phone call, send him a text message, just say, hey, man, that thing is trademarked. Um, if you could just stop using it nine times out of 10, they did not realize it. These logos, unfortunately, and all kinds of pictures are all over different websites, clip art websites, and, uh, they're free. Uh, there's no way to contact anybody on these websites. Uh, they take images from around the internet. They put them up there, uh, for public consumption and they're very odd. I think it's more of a phishing or a malware type deal because you download these images and probably infecting your computer with something. But that's neither here nor there. I don't know all about that type of stuff. Anyway, so a lot of folks say, well, Mike, did you just steal that from Google yourself? And the answer is no. That logo is actually a picture of myself that was taken for a magazine in 2006. So in 2006, a photographer came over, they put up a big white backdrop and they were taking you know, a bunch of pictures. In typical pressure washing fashion, I was trying to be cool with my gun and uh, the photographer was like, hey, just act goofy, act like you, know, you don't care, like you're having fun. And so I did that silly pose, that silly pose right there. And he took a picture, they sent over all the proofs to the editor of this magazine and the editor is like, that's the, that's the photo that we wanna use. We wanna use this in the advertising. And I thought, absolutely not. I look like a goofball. You know, my ego was big and I thought, I look like a, I look like a goof. I don't wanna use it. So I ended up conceding, allowing them to use it and kind of grew on me. And we then turned it into a silhouette. And, and then a little bit later, I decided I wanted a circle around it, just kind of to, to encapsulate it, to kind of, you know, make it look more like a logo as opposed to just some little weird looking shape. And from there, it's been trademarked since 2006 with the United States government. It is illegal to use this without permission. I've allowed folks to use it. You know, if people are cool and they're like, hey man, I'd love to use it. I'm nowhere near you. I got zero problem with it. Absolutely zero problem with it. I'll call guys and you know, they say, oh, I didn't realize it. And, and I get that. A lot of times they don't understand and that's fine. I'm cool with that. The only time that, you know, we have to bring in lawyers and get all legal is when people are jerks and they just get obstinate and stubborn and you know just kind of they're just jerks and at the end of the day you gotta fight fire with fire and that's when we send cease and desist that's when we have to take legal action on occasion typically the cease and desist works and that's it that's the story that is the evolution of the most stolen logo in the pressure washing industry had a couple guys ask about it, have seen a couple posts recently on it, and I just wanted to clarify, it is my logo, it is me, it is trademarked, you can't take it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great day.